honestly, honestly don't think that I've ever baked anything before from a recipe. In the big bowl. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but excited. Okay, have fun in there. Love you. All right, cheers. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna be making banana bread for the first time ever. I'm not a baker. I honestly, honestly don't think that I've ever baked anything before from a recipe. I think I've only ever used like a box of cake or something like that every single time that I've baked. I don't think I've ever followed a recipe before. I have a lot of food allergies, right? Like I'm allergic to gluten, dairy, nuts. I'm allergic to a bunch of things. But my mom, who's also allergic to gluten, has an amazing gluten-free banana bread recipe and I love it. She's made it for me a bunch of times. I love it so much. And so I'm gonna, by the way, either link or write down the recipe down below just in case you want to try it as well but she has made it for me so many times and I love it so much and so I'm going to attempt to make it myself again I'm not a baker but the instructions seem pretty easy and so I hope that I can do it we're gonna figure it out together we're gonna bake together and so let me just show you all the ingredients and then we will start baking okay so I have out two mixing bowls because that's what the recipe calls for and then I also have a measuring cup over there but in terms of ingredients I have gluten-free flour I have the Pillsbury one and then I have sugar two eggs and then baking powder baking soda vanilla salt and then I'm pretty sure the recipe says vegetable oil, but I have canola oil, so I'm gonna use that. And then I have a bunch of bananas. Are any of these brown enough to really be banana bread bananas? Not really, but I'm working with what I got. Some of these are, no. I mean, we're just gonna work with it. And I don't have like little measuring spoons, so I'm just gonna use like a regular teaspoon and a tablespoon. And then how my mom makes it is in a nine by five loaf pan. I don't have one of those. So what I'm gonna do is take this, which is like eight by eight ish, and I'm just going to take some tin foil and like crumple it up and put it here. So I'm gonna kind of like block off part of this pan. Okay, so I have the recipe on my phone, but again, I will link it or I'll write it. But so it basically says one cup of mashed bananas, two eggs, a half a cup of vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla, two thirds cup sugar, one and three quarters cup gluten-free flour, one teaspoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon salt, and then walnuts are optional. I cannot have nuts, so I'm not gonna be doing that. And then the steps, there's only a few. So it's preheat the oven to 350, which it is preheated, and then lightly grease a nine by five inch loaf pan. Again, I don't have one of those, I have this. I'm just gonna take, sorry it's loud, I'm just gonna take tin foil, crumple it up, and then put it here to kind of block off a part of this pan. I'm not crumpling it up too much because I obviously need this to fill the pan. So I'll just do like that. And then I'm gonna take another piece and like quote unquote line the rest of it. I just didn't feel like doubling the recipe because I just don't need to eat that much banana bread right now. And it's my first time making it, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. But okay, so I think that actually worked. I think that worked. That looks like a nine by five. It's probably an eight by four little loaf pan. So I can just move this over a little bit. Yeah, I think that that worked out. And then I am going to line it again with parchment. And the trick with parchment paper, because when you rip it, right, and it's flat like this, it always curls. But if you crumple it and then open it back up, then it stays flat and then you can kind of mold it. So I'm just gonna put that in there as well. I'm sorry, it's probably pretty loud, but I think that will work. Okay, and here's the thing. I know that baking is a science and you generally need pretty exact measurements, but that's probably not gonna happen today because I'm just working off of like a regular teaspoon. So I'm going to get it as close as possible, but let's just hope that it works. Let's just hope that it works. Okay, so first step in a large bowl. So this is like the large one and this is like the smaller one. In the large bowl, combine flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay, so that is one and three quarter cup of flour in the big bowl. <laughs> a little bit got out. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. <laughs> Only a little bit got out. Okay, baking powder. Oh, goodness. Okay, so this is one teaspoon. That's about a teaspoon, right? How much over is it supposed to go? <laughs> okay. Baking soda, quarter teaspoon, oh no. I, 
Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> I think a little bit got in there too. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, that's way too much. Okay, I think way too much already got in there. So I'm putting the rest back. I'll put a little more. I don't know how much just got in there. I shouldn't have done it over the bowl. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> and then the salt. So a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Oh, by the way, I did get water all over my shirt. I don't know if you saw that before, but I did get water on my shirt. Okay. And then what, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. How's that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay. And I guess I'll just mix it a little bit. And then in a separate bowl, so that's this one, combine the vegetable oil and sugar. Okay. So how much sugar? Two thirds cup of sugar. Oh goodness, it's already leaking. Okay. So it's gonna go in here. And then the vegetable oil, half a cup. But I'm using canola oil, because that's what we have. But what did I say? Half a cup? Yeah, okay. Okay, that goes in here with the sugar. Mix that together. That's a weird consistency. <laughs> Okay, and then it says to this bowl, stir in two eggs and the vanilla and the bananas. A little more, okay. Teaspoon of vanilla and then one cup of mashed bananas. So I'm just putting that back in there. All right, so we're gonna take this, I'm gonna take these bananas that again, I know that they're not really brown enough for banana bread. How many bananas do we think is a cup? Like three-ish, maybe two. You know that I always say to peel bananas from the bottom. I don't think it matters though. You guys, I'm, oh, I almost dropped that. I'm nervous. <laughs> like, again, I have only ever baked things from a box. So this is just so new to me that in my head, I'm like, how is this gonna work? Like, how does, I just, I don't know. Okay, if I smush that down, it's a little over a cup. So I think that that's fine. So I'll kinda smash this a little bit though with a fork. So my mom has a whole gluten-free cookbook, by the way. Her banana bread recipe is in there. Her sauce recipe, like Sunday Italian sauce recipe is in there. I am allergic to tomatoes now as an adult, but growing up, we had that sauce every Sunday and it's the most delicious thing in the entire world. And so she does have a cookbook. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. I'll have the link in my description if you wanna buy it. You can make her sauce and the banana bread. Mushy bananas going in here. And then just stir this. It smells good. I really just smell the vanilla, but it smells good. How chunky are the bananas supposed to be? <laughs> By the way, it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> it's like a little like midnight snack of banana bread. Okay, is that well combined? Does that count, I think? And then add this mixture to the flour mixture and then just mix it together and then pour it into the loaf pan. All right, if this works, which again, if it doesn't work, it's my fault, not my mom's. <laughs> I have eaten her banana bread a million times and it is delicious. So if this does not work, it is 100% my fault. But if it does work, then this was actually decently easy. Thanks mom for the easy recipe. Let's just hope I don't mess it up. Okay. Mix this in, mix a little bit as I go. Okay, now the bowl's heavy, okay. Is this supposed to be this thick, Mom? <laughs> Mom, are you watching? <laughs> Am I doing this right? Okay, so we're just gonna pour it in here and then bake it, it says 45 minutes to an hour. I'll probably check mine at like 35 minutes because again, this is not an exact nine by five loaf pan, so I'll probably check it a little early just to see. Spread it out to the corners. Okay, how does that look? I'm gonna put it in the oven. And then again, just because this is a little bit of a different size, I'm gonna check mine in about 35 minutes-ish. And so, all right, let's put this in the oven. Okay, have fun in there. Love you. Okay, so I'm a little nervous. This is my first time doing this. I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna shut off the camera for now and then I will turn the camera back on when the banana bread is ready and then we're gonna try it together. I'm so nervous, but excited. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
Okay, it has been about 35 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. This is what it looks like. That's definitely not what my mom's banana bread looks like, but it might still be good. It smells good. But yeah, it's like flaky almost. How did that happen? <laughs> mm, okay, I just took it out. Yeah, I have no clue why it looks like this. Like it still looks good. It just does not look like my mom's banana bread. It has to be because the bananas were not brown enough, right? Is that why? Again, I know nothing about baking. <laughs> so if you can be kind and nice to me since this is my first time doing it, but if you can tell me maybe what I did wrong, or mom, are you watching? Because my mom's is a lot darker than this. So I think it has to be the bananas. But anyway, hold on. I'm gonna try this bite, but I'm gonna do it on camera. Okay, I think that we can all agree that I messed up somehow because the texture just looks a little bit different and it's definitely not as dark as my mom's, which I can only think is because my bananas were not brown enough. But I'm just gonna try a piece from the top and then we're gonna cut into it. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for this food. I love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, cheers. That still tastes really good. It tastes similar to my mom's, but not the same. And I didn't mean, by the way, that it's not the same color as my mom's, meaning that I should cook it longer. I mean that the inside just is a completely different color. Okay, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I just don't think it's done yet. I think it's too mushy. I don't think it's done yet. I'm gonna put it back in, but I'm gonna eat this piece. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, it tastes good, but definitely not as good as my mom's. So I know I messed something up. Put this in for probably 10 more minutes. She said 45 to an hour, and it's only been in there for about 35 anyway. Again, I wanted to do it like that because I know that the loaf is a little bit of a different size. So, but I say 10 more minutes. Ooh, but that tastes good though. That's gonna be a really good midnight snack. It's already 10 o'clock. That's gonna be a really good midnight snack. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, hey guys, we are at like the 45-ish minute mark. Let's see how it's doing. So I'm gonna take it out and test it, but it's probably done. Here's the thing. I know that you're supposed to use like really brown bananas for banana bread but I had to cook this today and I got the bananas a few days ago and I was like, I just hope that they're good enough by today. And I think they just clearly weren't. So I might try this recipe again, but like really make sure that the bananas are really, really brown before I do this. But it still might be a tasty treat, you know? Yeah, it's a totally different texture. Cause I'm sure the brown bananas don't only add flavor, but I'm sure they add more moisture. And so I think it's a, even a completely different texture, but. It's my first time. Okay, so that was the piece I cut before. That's the piece that I just cut right now. So this is what it looks like. You know, I can't even believe I baked anything. <laughs> even if it came out wrong, I just can't believe I baked anything. <laughs> so let's try it. Normally I would put butter on this, but I'm just gonna try it like this for now. Oh, there's a piece of the banana. All right, cheers. This is really good. Mmm, mmm, that's good. Not as good as my mom's, but it's good though. Mmm, I forgot to turn my ring light on. Did it even make much of a difference? It's almost 10.30 at night, so it's dark. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me my first time baking from a recipe. Again, if you wanna try my mom's banana bread, I will have it in my description and it does come out better than this. <laughs> if you properly follow the instructions and use the right bananas, it's delicious, but this is still really good. But my mom's banana bread is amazing. I was in the middle of my outro, sorry. Okay, anyway, so I do want to start learning some new recipes, even with all of my food allergies. There definitely are some things that I can cook and bake. Well, I can attempt to. I can learn to. That's the word. I can learn 
how to do these things. And so let me know in the comments any recipe for like meal idea or dessert idea or anything or breakfast. What does this count as? A dessert? A breakfast? I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you want me to cook or bake anything else. Please let me know in the comments and I can see what I can do with all my food allergies and see how to alter it a little bit and maybe I can make one of your favorite recipes in the future. And I really hope that you're subscribed. I do all these kind of food videos on Sundays and then I also post on Tuesdays and Fridays whether it's travel videos or like little road trip, day trip videos a lot of like lifestyle vlogs and hanging out with me and just like doing day-to-day -day stuff together and so I really hope that you're subscribed and yeah I guess that's gonna be it thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye